ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಪರಮಶಿವಸಾರಂಭಾಂದೇಶ್ವರಿಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿಮ್ಯಮಾಸ್ಮದಾಚಾ
even for a small delusion use brahmastra to destroy it in tamil there is a proverb neruppum kadanum pagayum மிச்சம் வைக்கக்கூடாது ஐ எம் டெலிங் யூ த ஆக்சுவல் டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் இஸ் ஃபயர் டெப் எனிமிட்டி ஷுட் நாட் பி லெஃப்ட் ஈவன் லிட்டில் பிட் ஷுட் நாட் பி லெஃப்ட் டு லிவ் பிகாஸ் இட் வில் க்ரோ ஐ எம் டெலிங் யூ மச் மோர் தென் ஆல் திஸ் த்ரீ ஃபயர் டெப் அண்ட் எனிமிட்டி ignorance should not be left alive even one ignorant pattern can shake your whole life and change you i have seen i have seen people just for ice cream missing enlightenment and scream their whole life i have seen people doing it come back next birth as ice cream vendor and hate to even see ice cream even smallest patterns deal ferociously don't allow understand even a small knee pain headache don't deal it with just anasin metasin or some medicine and cream internally deal it with the pattern i am not the body i may have the body but i am not the body let me see how it can be cleared with this cognition you can apply medicine i don't have a problem i am not against medicine but i am against medicine being used remembering you have problem no you have a body which has a problem and work do everything to heal it and keep it healthy nothing wrong but always let your inner cognitions be ferocious hindu is a man who operates only from powerful cognitions only by being reborn you become hindu not by being born when you decide will operate your whole life only with powerful cognitions you are reborn today i will put 108 powerful cognitions keep this as a core cognition of your life go on be operating on these powerful cognitions your whole day let your physics chemistry biology not shake your will persistence just give tatastu to your will persistence understand even a small headache or knee pain if you deal it with powerless cognitions it can go up to suicide if you deal it with powerful cognitions you may not even need a medicine it may disappear so fundamental need is powerful cognitions then have medicine nothing wrong i am not against medical care but i am against powerless cognitions hate speech terrorists cyber terrorists understand i am the person who has faced largest cyber terrorism with this background i am telling you cyber terrorism is worst than any other form of terrorism do not allow cyber terrorists to divert you and dilute you why do you think i wear these jewels and all that 
to give some stuff to them so that let they are engaged with this gold not with my golden words so they are too busy in spreading the comments about this gold not my golden words they will be too tired by the time reach my golden words anyhow they can't understand because i want to keep the purity of my golden words reaching you i am giving them the alternative delusion for cyber terrorism so you be talking about this gold jewelries i am going to wear more and more <laughs> because you need people need to understand there are, there is a big goldophobia especially nityananda goldophobia one group is there they go on abusing me saying why is he wearing gold jewelry why is he wearing gold jewelry of course i am not answering them but i am answering to our devotees if you have this question understand i have left this body long before there is nobody inside this body parama shiva is manifesting through this body anybody who has realized parama shiva is manifesting through this body is treating this body as a deity so they are offering it if you wear it only then you will understand how heavy it is because i have already sacrificed this body i have given it to parama shiva parama shiva is operating it so people are treating this body as the deity of parama shiva so whatever they are putting it out of their devotion this body is accepting just to please the devotees and their love but this nityananda goldophobia gang the cyber terrorists cannot deal and they cannot see the reality and they cannot see the truth understand do not allow the cyber terrorists to distract you to destroy you to dilute you be non violent but don't allow the violent people to take away your enlightenment that is one of the biggest mistake hindu kings have done it non violent is great but we should not have allowed our enlightenment signs and enlightenment ecosystem to be taken away by the violent people shrinking india is extinction of hinduism all of you understand again i am repeating from gandhar to gadaram from mongolia to sri lanka the aganda kailasa the bharat the kailasa nation bharat the more it was shrinking 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 last 2000 years the more enlightenment ecosystems were getting lost and extinction of hinduism was happening understand now especially after the independence last 60 years alarmingly extreme speed that enlightenment ecosystem is getting destroyed understand all the people against nityananda anti nityananda or anti hinduism and anti india some openly declare they are anti india and anti hinduism and attack nityananda some are more cunning like shaguni staying in the side of duryodhana he destroyed the whole duryodhana's vamsa family same way there are 
some saguni mamas they think they are chanakya mamas no they are saguni mamas saraya mamas those sagunis they don't declare they are anti hindu and anti india but they behave act declare in public as if they are for india and for hinduism but go on do against nityananda be very clear only the rogue elements in india are attacking me always unfortunately the rogue elements are such even government cannot control them the people who are working on continuously assassinate trying to assassinate me eliminate me are anti hindus and anti india understand because i will revive thousands of enlightenment ecosystems all over the world the anti india terrorists and anti hindu terrorists gang up i tell you saguni has done more damage to dhridarashtran duryodhana's side than krishna that's the truth same way some of the sagunis who are staying in hindu camps are so called nationalist camps and hindu camps they are doing more damage to hinduism and indian nationalism than the anti indian anti hindu elements i am telling you today is the day anti hindu anti indian anti spiritual elements committed suicide the day ravana yar lifted sita he decided to commit suicide same way the day they attack try to eliminate nityananda they decided to commit suicide march 2nd today is the day 2010 now i think almost 9 years 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 9 years over 10th year beginning the anti spiritual elements anti nityananda elements anti hindu elements anti indian elements decided to commit suicide on this very day <laughs> this rogue elements this rogue elements i have done every possible terrorist method lawfare lawfare is like using the legal system to do the warfare eliminate your enemy using the legal system that's called lawfare these anti nityananda terrorists are masters of lawfare otherwise how could they file an fir without any victim rape charge who was raped nobody knows i i investigated the police when they arrested me instead of they investigating me i investigated tell me who was raped they said we don't have the name then why did you arrest me we are trying to find who got raped you should have had a victim and then only then you can even call me as accused the funny thing usually when they have a victim they search for accused in my case they arrested me and they are keeping me saying we have accused is there any victim they started searching for victim this rogue element sitting inside the police department who was able to manipulate the government and department used the whole infrastructure doing lawfare and they tried their best to eliminate March 3rd was the day they tried to burn alive 
if they would have been successful tomorrow would have been the ninth guru puja <laughs> fortunately by parameshwar's grace they were not successful that is why i am sitting in front of all of you we have a video evidence they have uh, national channels have done a live telecast of nityananda being burnt alive inside his quarters along with his sanyasis if they would have been successful tomorrow would have been the ninth videha mukti day not the tenth jeevan mukti day tomorrow we are going to be celebrating tenth day tenth jeevan mukti jayanti in 2009 on march 3rd i gave the whole world the jeevan mukti the greatest gift the series of books the technology methodology for living enlightenment science the same march 3 the anti hindu terrorists anti spiritual elements try to burn <laughs> me alive just one year after that 2010 mob lynching was one of the ways anti indians and anti hindu elements use to eliminate the people they want to eliminate because in the mob lynching you can't file any case on one person and easy to escape prosecution punishment march 3rd is the day the mob terrorists the anti indian anti hindu anti nityananda anti spirituality terrorists entered the adi kailasa raped women monks raped children stole gold silver jewelries of deities stole money destroyed lot of heritage related books documents deities destroyed the deities and burnt the whole ashram whole monastery burnt the living quarters of sanyasis and sanyasinis putting them inside and locking the doors outside and still we have few people missing after that incident we don't know whether they escaped or because immediately after the burning police came and cleared the whole place all the evidences was destroyed so we don't know whether some people died inside the fire burnt and bodies were removed by the police to destroy the evidence and i tell you so much has happened the whole thing is video recorded photographed we have still now we are not able to file a single fir or a case on this whole terrorist attack still now no fir how many times we tried giving complaints no fir no investigation it is now 9 years over because i am in a safe place i am even talking about it openly 9 years over we are not even able to file a complaint but these terrorists should know you cannot destroy the super science and super conscious dna parama shiva is carrying and manifesting through this body because this time parama shiva is really going to deliver this super science to the world and save the world he is decided yes decided he is going to do and he is doing 
revival of thousands of enlightenment ecosystems. This whole persecution is just to test the will persistence of devotees. Understand, if you have known me before this persecution, March 1st of 2010, and still you are connected to me, I declare, you are enlightenment ecosystem, you are Paramashiva, openly declare, Nityananda Paramashivoham, I am Nityananda Paramashiva, and declare, that you are the source of enlightenment ecosystem. I tell you, if you have been my devotee, March 1st, 2010, and still you feel sympathetic, connected, as my devotee, even in between if you have been shaken but came back, or you may not know me at that time, but you have read the whole story, but still you decided, you will be my devotee, my disciple, my follower. Or you have got connected to me only last few days or few weeks or few months, but you know the whole story, but you are ready to believe only my version and ready to stand by me, committed to me, integrated to me, declare yourself boldly today in the Facebook. And tag it to me. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. I am Nityananda Paramashiva. I am the source of enlightenment ecosystem. And I tell you, I will make sure Paramashiva gives you Tatastu. And you manifest the enlightenment ecosystem around you. Declare these very words. Para Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. I am the source of Kailasa. I am Nityananda Paramashiva. I am the source of Kailasa, an enlightenment ecosystem. As Paramashiva, I give you all my blessings and tatastu. You will all realize this. Nityananda Paramashivoham. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham and being the space for Kailasa and enlightenment ecosystem. If you have withstood this test, I tell you, now your will persistence is worthy of Receiving tatas, blessings. If you have not seen, I'll show you now a few seconds. The whole burning of my very quarters, where me and my sannyasis were put inside and locked and burning. And it was being done, live show was going on. The TV9 national channel, shameless terrorists, doing live show of me and my sannyasis being burnt live. The whole ashram was burnt. Down. I built the whole thing with my blood, not even sweat. It was built by my blood, making brick by brick. The fellows have burnt the whole thing in one day. Building burnings on side, raping the monks, female monks and raping the children. Burning the men alive.
one of the worst terrorist attack on hindus in the modern day and the worst thing is not even single complaint was filed it was done so planned police was standing and protecting those terrorists we have video records and photos and no fire engine no help was called to put off the fire or release us from that burning building none of my sanyasis are allowed to save me from that burning building if you withstood this media terrorism cyber terrorism brainwashing terrorism and still connected to me or connected to me only recently but you know the whole terrorism happened but still ready to stand by my side and listen to my side story i give you my blessings you are paramashiva and you are kailasa and you are the source of enlightenment ecosystem so listen declare in your facebook today om nityananda parama shivoham i am nityananda parama shiva and i am the source of enlightenment ecosystem kailasa declare i give you my tatastu as parama shiva we will all become kailasas the source of enlightenment ecosystem and manifest it tag it to my facebook page my blessings i am with you all let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching causing living shudatvaita saivam parama shivoham the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful